Doesn't look like that works. My God! Ah! From what backwater of hell did you find this potion? Are you trying to poison me? It's a... Uh, uh, a blue Helena. That is impossible. The blue Helena had a color that was like an... and an aroma like... Um, you understand? Its texture was not quite so... Um, one thing is for certain. This is no blue Helena. Make an effort, my child. Right. I guess I'll try out another mix. My voice. My God, that is atrocious. Horrific. It was too good to be true. George's blue Helena is powerless. Ineffective on the voice of an old woman. But your voice is perfect. Don't be so down on yourself. You just need to warm up a bit, that's all. After all these years, it's to be expected. No, no, I am very grateful for all your efforts, but really, I cannot go on stage with such a puny, pathetic voice. My performance would be so poor. I would get such bad reviews. You've just got to get your confidence back, hasn't she, James? I must concur, madam. It sounds to me like your voice is fully restored. James, be quiet. You are a sniveling little creep. The blue Helena really does have a magical effect. 
Your voice is sensational. I am not convinced. If my voice has really returned, it is not ready. It is still not powerful enough. I tell you, you're wrong. The Calm Calls grad director is going to be amazed. My dear, how little you know. I remember a time, madam, when you would test your vocal prowess by breaking crystal tableware and decorations. Ah, those were the days. <laughs> Shards of crystal. I could never do that. not ready. It is still not power. I tell you, you're wrong. The Calm Calls grad director is going to be amazed. My dear, how little you know. I remember a time, madam, when you would test your vocal prowess by breaking crystal tableware and decorations. Ah, those were the days. <laughs> Shards of crystal. I could never do that now. That door is locked. I've come to say I'm sorry for the fountain. I hope I haven't caused too much damage. But it's the best idea I could find to actually meet Madame Romansky. Oh, it's no problem. I mean, who even looks at the stupid fountain these days? So, you're big buddies with Romansky. Just what was it you said to get in her good book so quickly? I just asked if she could come with me to sing in a factory. Romansky, sing? It's been a year and a day since she last sung anything. Reading surprised she's going with you. We'll see. There's always hope and, well, persistence. And you certainly have a lot of that. No denying it, madam. So you think Madame Romansky will never sing again? I don't think so, no. There's no way you could help me in my research, is there? Once upon a time, but today, no way, José. It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory, but now it's all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make you sad? Why should it? Once upon a time, I met the greatest of the great. Now I got my memories. Sweet memories. This might seem a little indiscreet, but I think that Hans Varlberg stayed here once, and I'd like to know if you've heard anything from him since. It's not house policy to talk about the comings and goings of its clientele, but I will say that I have indeed not had the pleasure of doing dealings with Mr. Vorlberg since he left the hotel a long, long time ago. Goodbye, Mr. Felix. You haven't changed your mind, then. I could do you a good deal on the royal suite. Thanks very much, but I really must be going.
That is so beautiful. The blue Helena really does have a magical effect. Your voice is sensational. I am not convinced. If my... I tell you you're wrong. My dear... I remember a time, madam, when you would tell... Ah, those were the days. <laughs> I don't need to do that again. 